right. <laughs> Let's go with Netflix right okay. from the get-go. Mm. They've got fewer U.S. subscribers. That's a real big problem, Michelle. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely a problem. I think what really concerned me was actually more the foreign growth because the U.S. were stagnated. It was really the foreign growth that I think investors were really looking mm. forward to, and it's not there. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was interrupted. Sorry, Joe, what do you make of Netflix? <laughs> no, Michelle's absolutely right. Subscribers. It's the international growth that really f people focused on last time, and that's really what took them off. I mean, this is a stock priced to perfection, and so their PEs and all their other multiples are priced very high. So the fact that people are looking at 27% compounded growth for a period of time on earnings and revenues, the fact that this is now slowing down and actually negative in the U.S., mm -hmm. and as Michelle mentioned, international is slowing down. They've got competitors uh, here and abroad yes. that are pricing cheap, and, the price, and they're giving away free. So in India and other places, in California, their companies are coming And they're losing their content. Yeah. Netflix is a streaming company. Yeah. Other streaming companies are yeah. coming on board. Is yeah. the streaming market saturated? Yeah, I think it is for Netflix, at least, especially when it comes to losing some of those top one, two sitcoms of Friends and The Office. Office. Yeah. But what I found really baffling in this earnings report is that they came, they missed big when it comes yeah. to subscriber growth in the quarter, yeah. right? Coming in at half the rate, only yeah. 2.75 million expected. Why on earth did they keep their guidance intact saying they're going to add 800,000 new subscribers this quarter in the U.S., 7 million around the world for these three months. That's I think that's really bullish to yeah, me. Yeah, what's the Over argument to back that up? What have they got coming? That's they say it's content. That the, there was a content lag in the second right. quarter, but they have yeah. Stranger Things 3 that to premiered right. well, in the third quarter. Okay. <laughs> the clothing retailer American Eagle says it's planning to offer buy now, pay later for teenagers on a tight budget. The stock is down. <laughs> I'm a little worried just because obviously this creates not the best habit for a teenager. So that's a little concerning. You I think mean, they will pay it... for the clothing, though? They could. Uh, ultimately, Who knows? isn't it the parents Who that fell out? They, Who knows? Exactly. It's the um, it'll be an interesting story about retail. But I also thought another interesting story, and I don't know if you guys covered this a couple of days ago, that Kohl's is now accepting Amazon uh, packages, returns. Yes, did, we did. I mean, I was that, just yeah. like talking about a retail headline. I was like, wow. Is that, anyway, it's a different story, but... Is that good for Kohl's? <laughs> foot traffic. I mean, foot traffic, we'll see. This could be good because of foot traffic. I mean, again, you don't know. Okay.